Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about West Eagle Handlebars for Harley. You should be checking out a set of West Eagle handlebars if you're trying to change up your hand position on your bike and perhaps make it look just a little bit different. These things are currently being cranked out for just about anything, being that handlebars are fairly universal, you can use them on a lot of different stuff, but I expect mostly we're gonna see these on narrow and wide glide equipped bikes, stuff without fork shrouds. So I'm expecting mostly to see these on sporty, dyna, and soft tail bikes. Installation on these really does kind of range. Anywhere on our beard scale of difficulty from one right up to three beards, I'm going to say most of you guys are probably running into a two beard install on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. Should be pretty easy for most of you guys. There might be some light wiring as well as some cable rerouting. We'll get to that in just a moment. Let's get right into things. Now, if you're shopping for handlebars, no doubt you have seen a whole pile of handlebars for sale. And at this point in time, there's so many people making handlebars, it can be difficult to differentiate one from another. And it can also be difficult for a supplier of handlebars to stand out. West Eagle has the market cornered on uh, a number of different bends, but they're also offering them really at a very low price point. These are entry level bars, they're not going to sting you too bad. If you don't have a bunch of extra coin to change up where you're going to put your hands, West Eagles are a great place to start. So these things are made from a variety of different materials. You're going to see over here we have a set of chrome steel and also black steel bars, a couple different finishes available, but then also over to the left here you'll notice we have a set of bars in stainless. I really like these. Stainless is a, is a great option, especially if your bike sees a lot of weather or you're not maybe super diligent about cleaning it up, these will avoid rust. Now one of the ways West Eagle is keeping the price down on these things is by using thin wall construction. Normally I like to see 095 or 120 wall tubing in the bars. These are just a bit thinner than that. So they are gonna be a little bit lighter, probably not gonna survive well in the event of a crash, but they're also not you know, too beefily overbuilt. Sometimes these things really can get a little bit crazy. So it's one of the ways that West Eagle is keeping that price point down and bringing a lot of different styles really at an entry level price. Now with respect to installation, I had mentioned that these things are going to be a two bearder on the beard scale of difficulty. And that's really very dependent on quite a few things. Firstly, it really depends whether or not you're changing your height too much. If you're using stock length cables and wiring because you've chosen something close to your stock length bars, things are going to be significantly easier. It's going to be a one beard. You're just going to bolt your bars in, transfer everything over from the old bars to the new bars. Should be very simple. Now, if you're going a little bit crazy and you wind up having to extend your wiring, extend your controls, you have a little bit of work ahead of you. Like I had said, there is going to be some wiring work there. You're going to have to know how to do some hydraulic work. Bleeding brakes is going to be a necessary part of the process, as well as a adjusting cables, including your clutch and your throttle cables. Just keep that in mind. You may need some additional stuff to get the job done, like wiring supplies or perhaps a cable kit. I really like these bars in terms of their price. It's a great way to get a set of quality bars in your bike with either a cool guy design or something more traditional, like you can see the stuff we have up here, without really breaking the bank. West Eagle's definitely kind of cornering that area of the market that is currently underserved. My opinion is not the only game in town, though. Click the info button, see what some of your other fellow riders who are already rolling a set of West Eagles on their sled have to say about them. If you've got a fitment question or you're not quite sure uh, what you're doing installation-wise, get in touch with one of our gear geeks for a little bit of personal one-on-one -on -one time. See us at RevZilla.com, or you can always get us on the horn, 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.